Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in our previous videos, we already talked about uh, several topics of two uh, random variables. We talked about the joint probability density function, and also we talked about how to check the distance of two continuous random variables. In this video, I want to start talking about more about the relationship between two random variables. So when we talk about a random variable, no matter it's continuous or discontinuous, what we talk about, we always talk about the mean of it, the variance of it, and of course also the PDF of it. So here in this talk, this video, the first thing I want to talk about is the mean of a function of two continuous random variables, or in other words, the expected value. So here, if we have a function of these two continuous random variables, h of x and y, then the mean of these uh, functions is a double integral of these uh, functions times the joint PDF, f, x, y, and this double integral with respect to x and y. So if you compare this with what we have for the continuous, uh, the mean of the two random variable, actually this is a very straightforward in theories, because if we want to talk about uh, a double integral, how we can compute it, uh, if we have double integral, when we try to compute the integral of the x, we will use the value of x times the marginal probability density function, and this will give us the mean of x. And uh, then for y, uh, we will compute the integral of y times the marginal probability density function of y, right? So this is how we do this for the one random variable. And then if we have function like f, some function of x or some function of y, we just uh, substitute the function to the place of x and place and y. So here for the double two random variables, then the straightforward is change integral to a double integral and then change the marginal PDF to our joint PDF. And then, so that's why we can have this uh, definition. Okay, so this is how we can compute the mean of the function of a continuous, two continuous random variable. So the, about the variance. So for variance, now instead of use variance, uh, we will change the name to covariance. So you can think this is mean of two random variable. So the covariance between the two random variables denoted by x and y is, we can denote this by sigma sub x, y, or we can denote this by c, o, v, and uh, x, comma, y. So the definition of this is we find the mean of the product of the distance between x to is mean of x and y to mean of y. Okay, and then similarly to the uh, variance of one random variable, we also have two methods to compute this. One is by the definition and the other is uh, by some calculation. We can have this is equal uh, expectation or expect value minus a product. Okay, so here this one actually is also a smooth uh, inference from our uh, variance because if we compute a variance of x, what we do, we compute the expect, exp, mean or expect value of x minus the uh, mean of x take a square. So now if we have two random variables, so instead of a square here, what we do, we will have this as a product of two uh, minus. So one is about x, one is about y. And here, because we have two random variables, right? So of course, instead of use one mean, now we have two mean. One is for our mean of x, and the other is mean of y. Okay, so previous, in the previous talk about the mean, I also said how we can compute the mean of x and mean of y. 
To compute this one, we will need the marginal PDF, marginal probability density function. So if you have some not familiar with this, this or you have question about this, please look at my video about the joint probability functions. I talk about the marginal probability density functions in that video. Okay, so if we have the variance, uh, covariance of two random variables, the what we have in the previous video we talk about what means for independence of two random variable. We said if we try to find the random uh two random variables are independent, we will have two methods to check it. One is find the if the product of the the probability of the intersection is equal to the product of the probability. Or if the joint probability density function is equal to the product of two marginal probability density function. So based on that property or definition of the independence between two random variables, we can have this remark. So this remark is if x, y are independent, then we can get the sigma x, y is equal to zero. Okay, so why we can have this? So let me give the explanation so here. So based on our previous definition of the covariance of uh, x and y, so what this have, this is equal to the mean of the product of x, y minus the product of the mean of, of this two random variable. So now if we plug in the definition of the product, uh, the mean of the product of x, y, this means this is double integral of x times y times the joint probability density function, right? So here, based on this one, now what we need, we need to plug in the property of the de de uh, independence of these two random variables. So that means this joint, uh, this joint PDF will equal the product of our two marginal random variables. So this means this is f sub x times uh, f sub y. Okay, so now if we have this equation, then what we have, we can find here, actually this double integral can be divided to two parts. One is only about the integral of x and the other is only about the integral of y. So previous when I talk about the independence of two random variables, I use similar idea about how we can change a double integral to two separated integral. So uh, you can find more details there. So here for this part, by the property of the double integral, we can have this equation is equal this uh, two integral here, the product of this two integral. Okay, so now if we look at the first uh, integral, what this this actually is our definition of the mean of x. And the second integral is our definition of the mean of y. So in other words, the first term in this uh, equation is mean x times mean of y. And then the second term is still minus mean x times uh, mean y. So that's why we have this equals, is equal to zero. So that's why here we will have if uh, x and y are independent, then we will have this property. This means we have the covariance of x, y is equal to zero. Okay, so this is uh, one important remark of the relationship between independence and covariance. And then the other thing I want to talk about is let we talk about more about the relationship between two random variables. So independence, you can think about kind of like the outcomes of the random variable x won't change the values of our random variable y. However, if this covariance of x and y is not equal to zero, then how we can uh, know about this one. So this is about this uh, property. So that means if there is a positive linear relationship between x and y, then we have the covariance of x and y is a positive value. So 
In other words, what's meaning for the linear, uh, positive linear relationship? So this means if we have the value of our x is increased, so this will help us imply the value of our y is also increased. Okay, and then this the opposite is also correct. So that means if our y is increased, then we can get the value of our x is also increased. So that means that a larger x will correspond to a larger y. Okay. And also that means if x is decreased, they also have the same relationship. So y is decreased. And if y is decreasing or smaller, then we will get a smaller value of our x. This means positive linear relationship. So that means the change of our x will imply the same change for our y. Okay, and then the other one is what will happen if we have a negative value. Then this is what we have here. So if we have x and y as a negative linear relationship, then we will have this value of our covariance as a negative value. So that means what this means. This means the larger x will give a smaller y. So if x is larger, we will get y is smaller. So we will have an opposite relationship between the implies of the larger and the smaller of our x and y. Okay, so this is how to describe about the more general relationship between two random variables, not only independence, but more general. So here about the covariance, we know the covariance actually is any real number. It can be very large positive value, it can be very small negative value. So now if we want to find a more standardized or normalized uh, uh, value, what we can do, we can define uh, new uh, parameters. This is a correlation. So the correlation between two random variables, x and y, is denoted by rho x sub x y, or it can be denoted by the English letter C O R R, just for short, and the parentheses x comma y close parentheses. So this is defined as use the covariance divided by a square root. It's the square root of the product of variance of x and variance of y. Okay, so this is uh, what we call, what we define a correlation between two random, random variables. So of course, because we have the, like the standard deviation is the square root of the variance, right? So we can also rewrite this as a covariance of x and y divided by the product of the standard deviations of x and y. Okay. So then now what's the good property of this uh this uh correlation? It's have very similar uh right. It's like if uh our covariance is positive value because it's divided by a square root and square root is always a positive number, right? So what this means, this means positive covariance give positive correlation, negative covariance implies a negative correlation. So maybe you will have a question why we define this uh, correlation. The reason is after we give this uh, definition of correlation, we have this uh, four important property of our correlation. So the first one is a range of our correlation of two random variables is between negative one and positive one. So now we can have a more clear idea of what this means. So now if we have like the if the value of our correlation is very close to negative one. So that means there is a negative uh, correlation between our x and y. So it means if um, we have this is a really negative one. And if the rho x y, the correlation of x y is close to one, then that means this is a positive, a, correlation of x y. So that means we have 100% sure that uh, increasing of x will give us an increasing of y. 
Okay, and then of course, because uh, now by the definition of the correlation, we have the if x and the y are independent, of course, we also have our correlation x, y is equal to zero. Okay, so this is something I want to talk about, about this uh, correlation. However, uh, there is one more important remark I want to talk. As we already said, if we have uh, x and y are independent, we say the covariance will equal zero, and also the correlation will equal zero. However, if the correlation is equal to zero, or covariance is equal to zero, can we have x and y are independent? So here, this is a remark I want to talk about. So this is actually the value of our correlation and covariance cannot give us the x and y are independent or not. So this is a really, really important thing. So that means if in future you need to have a question to check x and y are independent or not, the only way you can check it is by the probability or by the joint probability density function. So that's the two methods we talked about in the last video. Okay, so this is what I want to talk about in this uh, videos. So in next videos, I will start to talk about uh, some more general uh, ter uh, terminologies. So that means we want now to only work for two random variables. We want to work for any positive uh, integer numbers. So it can be 10, can be 100 or 1000. So I will talk about that topic in the next video. And then that will be the uh, the last video in our probability part. Okay, so please subscribe my channel and hope I will uh, you will look at my next video.